Hi everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Sweet Talk with Sweet Pea. I'm Annette and this is Alison. Hi. Today we're talking to you about all things Halloween. So of course it's not Halloween yet. No. But everybody needs to have time to get to their give Halloween. give time to sew. That's right, to get all your decor items. So mm -hmm. we've been um, designing Halloween designs since the beginning. we started. So like yep. six years. We've got six work years worth of Halloween. I think we're getting better. We're getting scarier, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some new things. We might touch on some old things. We'll go through all of that. And then we've got some exciting news about some sew-alongs, um, new Facebook group and all of that. So we'll just get started, we'll I think. the week, yep. Yeah. Just let you know about all the upcoming fun things that are going to be an exciting month. Very exciting and very busy. Yes. We like making work for ourselves, don't we, Alison? Yeah. We've got a new Facebook group starting, which is how to sew a duffel tote bag. Yes, and the design has been released, and yes. you can go to the new group that's been created. And the reason we're having a separate group is because it's a little bit more complicated or just something different to what we've done before. So we want to include a video on how to make yeah. it and have Martin there answering questions yeah. and all that. So that's so exciting. It's kind of like a, a support group, I guess, where yeah. so you're not having um, people talking about other designs. It's all about that duffel bag once um, you know that's released. And yep. you know, if you've got questions about it, um, we'll be around to help or um, other members of the group will be able to help. So yep. it, it's going to be fun, I think. Yep. Yeah, it'd be really, really good. We can't wait to see what people make with that design. Yeah, and then uh, we're starting a Christmas block of the week quilt. Yes. And we want to start it early enough this year to give everyone time to get That's finished right. and time That's for right. Christmas. So time just flies, doesn't it? Just, it's not that many weeks before Christmas, yeah. really. So I think it got might be going for 12 weeks, and yeah. it's starting on the 29th, 29th of September. That's yeah. right. So next week. Um, so, yeah, so that'll be good. So, I mean, if you don't happen to start at the exact time you can no, jump you can, in and see to make it time. next year it doesn't really That's matter right. it's just a, when we'll be starting to release yeah. it and make sure you keep an eye out for your newsletter because all these Details dates and everything it, yeah. are in the newsletter and so this time of year out. you get busier and busier i think so if you kind of start if you want to do something like this it's good to start at the beginning and then mm. you've given yourself a bit of time so we've yep. allowed enough time for people to make it make their halloween things first yeah that's right <laughs> fall and spring and summer wherever depending on where you live in the world yeah so there's that um, on the 1st of October, our October Sew Along starts, and it's our beautiful poinsettia um, blocks and quilt design yeah, that gorgeous. Silvana's made. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah, so that's in time for Christmas. Uh, and what have we forgotten? We've forgotten the live, live show, show, and that's also the 29th of September. That's so. Right. so September's nearly gone, but we're going to squeeze in another live, and we've got our new set. Yes. So. Um, Every time we do a, um, a video, we'll try and change the set around so you can get a, a bit of a look at all and the designs. And it's the set guru. She's amazing for decorating. <laughs> <I had fun. laughs> if it was me, I'd just get a few things out and well, try I mean, them out. I'm very got, good at that. I've got all the tools at my hand, like all the decorations I've just, we've got in boxes, don't we? So yeah. these are all get bundled up, all the Halloween ones, and we'll bring out something for next week. Yep. I don't know what we'll put on the set next week, but we'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, so we'll just jump in and have a look at some brand new designs that we've just had recently yeah, released. Great, yes. So these are our little Halloween gift bags. I love them. I love the eye. The beautiful. Um, these buttonholes are also done in the hoop. And then you can just thread your cord or whatever through. We've used batting in ours, but you don't have to. Uh, that's nice if you were giving a bottle of wine to yeah, someone or something Yeah, definitely. Too, but, and they've got little monster faces on them. So it's all kind of done in panels, and then you've got these little eyes poking out from here and there. There's a kitty cat. And the cat's got his tail on the back. So this is, I'm just waiting for James to look at that one with the cat. Oh, yeah. And then on the back is his tail. Yeah. Um, I've noticed in the Facebook group today, Alison, or might have been yesterday, some people have been using these panels and they've been putting them together and making other things. Yeah, like they have bags, and bags and table and runners and stuff. cushion or whatever. Yeah. So they're cute. Made as well. So, of course, Halloween's all about purple and orange and black and white colours, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the traditional colours, yeah. colours. So, of course, this one 
in the same. We've added some different fabrics in there, which we have fun doing. Yes. If it's not a quilt or something, you don't really need to have it just soft, soft. cottons or no. anything. So we've used some of our PU there. It gives a bit of um, dimension, doesn't it? It does, and the orange mesh. Because you can see that. I don't think you can see it in the product photos on the website very well. No. So it's a good opportunity during the videos yes. to, for James to have a close-up for you. So, I mean, of course, you can use whatever you have on hand. Yeah. We we have all of this on hand. So. We often use upholstery fabrics, yeah. uh, canvas. So talking about this pumpkin made out of this um, orange mesh, I was at the, when I was doing this set, I thought I wanted to get some spiderweb type sort yeah. of thing for Halloween. Yeah. So I went to the dollar shop this morning to get some Halloween spider's webs to put on the set. And the spider's webs were made out of mesh. And I thought, oh, or really? knitting. So We've I thought, got white mesh. We may as well use our own. So I mesh? just thought I'd show everybody. Perfect for Halloween. You could jazz up your item, your oh, yeah. decoration. So you perfect can actually purple, really tear that a bit white. If you want to, but... Um, and then we've got the bright greens that come in the same as mm -hmm. most of the fabric. Black mesh, purple no, mesh. Actually, right? they vary. So it's very, it's exactly. The only colour you haven't got there is the blue, I think. Yeah, but that doesn't, doesn't go, go with Halloween. Halloween. No, so there you go. Run. So I thought of that when I was in the, the, the dollar shop today. Yeah. I thought, well, I don't need to buy it. We could just <laughs> buy this and you could have it just sort of draped around. And, yeah. and they could use it later in your store. Yeah, that's right. So that's just one thing I thought Ooh, of. Man. Okay, so that's that design. Um, so this one isn't in the purples and yellows, is it? That's nice. Yeah, that's different. Something a bit different. Okay, this is another Halloween design. This was from last year. Mm -hmm. So it it's done in non-traditional sort of Halloween yeah, colours, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. That, that was made in the rectangular hoops, so I think this was the 6x10, but you can also sew it in the 5x7 or 7x12. Yeah, so that's, that's a scary... What size you have? That's a scarier design. Yeah. So we've got a few other... Yeah, there's a placemat that we had last year. Yeah. I think this was last year's. Is it, we call it a placemat, don't we? But you can put anything in there. Yeah, well, we call it a placemat because it's like this and then you could put cutlery in there. Yeah. But obviously you could make that into a wall hanging or a table run or whatever. You can whatever actually you want, have you can just combine. handy or anything sticking out of there That's or, right, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. That's another scary one. Now, I wanted to show everybody this latest one. I might just hold it against here so yeah. you can see it against the, the black. Can you get her legs there, James? Oh, sorry. This is our witch table oh, a hanger, hanger. witch wall hanger. And she's so pretty. She and is, did you see she? in the Facebook the other day that someone's made her in with a green face? Oh, really? And and sort of darker colours yeah. and made her the Wicked Witch. Oh, out of Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. I love the beauty spot. Yeah. And then when um, Cassie was selling it, she's used some of our beautiful red glitter faux leather yeah, just the for the lipstick as well so we'll hold that up there so these are done on wash away so they're kind yeah, of they can reverse them the back as well. so they look just as nice oh sorry and the tools put in, in the hoop too isn't it Alison yeah. so there's one two three four panels and then her legs and then it's just back like that yeah but she's absolutely beautiful beautiful eyes on the cat yeah and then the fussy cutting with some cats on the fabric. So there's that. We've got a lovely bag behind you, Alison, which is the spiderweb clutch. Yep. Might get the pumpkins down while I'm there yeah. too. How cool is that? Ooh. This is just gorgeous, the shape of it. So that's made in two hoopings. Uh, it's, we've made this one in the six by 10 hoop. Uh, you make the flap in the first hooping and then in the second hooping you make the bag and assemble hmm. and add the flap and everything it's and quite the loops. Good. It's all lined. Yeah, it's, this is a really good size, I think. You've mm -hmm. got enough room for your phone and a little comb and some lippy. So that's the spider web clutch bag and then you've got the Beautiful cushion. cushion. Below. Pumpkins all over. So this is called the jack-o'-lantern faces cushion. So all different faces of the jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. So it can be made in a 4x4, 5x5 or 6x6 hoop. And he's got all different expressions. Yeah. That one looks like he's got a moustache. Of course, anything that we've made in a square hoop, you can match very easily with anything else made That's in a right. square hoop. So this one, like this quilt we have down here. This is our Halloween quilt. Was made in a square hoop, and it comes in four by four, five by five, and six by six too. So it's easy 
to mix and match. To mix these in, you can make a pumpkin table runner and then mm. add them into the quilt. So everything's very versatile. Or you can take one of these one of these designs out. If That's you didn't right, like one of them, the you can put the pumpkin in. Yep. And mix and match the them. Word. So spooky in the middle of your pumpkins. So we've got the, the boy and the girl little pumpkin people there. We've got um, little mug rugs that are the same. So they're cute too. So we've got dozens and dozens we of have Halloween to, designs, haven't we? Release to, haven't we? Oh, definitely. Hold in here. Show this one. Yes, I'll we'll just move yeah, some move of this out of the way. That's a good plan. Too many things. This was released this week. Um, I've done a separate um, little video with Emma, our designer, on this one where she's um, talking about her inspiration for this. Yeah. I think and she showed you her sketches yeah, she and did. everything, didn't she? So she's a good very, very art. talented artist. She starts from scratch. This isn't clip art or anything. This no. has come out of Emma's head. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> scary. So this is actually the um, the tamed down version. Yeah. So when oh, Emma right. was first sketching it, it kind of even looked spookier than this. Well, I think there was some blood dripping out yeah. of places. And, and this and one, this guy didn't have that's any right, he hair. Was bald. So now he more looks like a Dracula. Yeah. But the applique and embroidery on these are just amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, this design's not for everybody. She's thrown in a bit of key and everything too, but look at this one. This is just a, a woven fabric. Yep. But because it's a thicker weave, it, it sort of the texture, gives isn't it? some texture, yeah. Beautiful. Which is great when you're doing animals or something. So, I mean, the eye's beautiful that Emma gets into her designs. Even um, the detail on these teeth. Yeah. So we stitched these out with our Incredi thread, um, threads. Um, and so Emma's put into the design files a uh, colour chart for the Incredi thread yeah. so that if you want to do it exactly the same colours you can, you don't have to, you can yeah. use any embroidery thread but yeah. we of course use our own thread because we love it. But I was actually saying to Emma, some of the um, the threads, they look like they're metallic, they've they got do, such a yeah, good sheen to them, the sheen, yeah. but you don't get that problem with the, um, the threads breaking. Nope. So that's called the Monster Table Runner. So that's pretty spooky. Mm -hmm. If spooky spooky is not your thing. <laughs> we have cute. We have cute. So this is last year, this is the Witch's Table Runner. Five Witch's Table Runner, actually. They've all got the five little personalities. Different hairstyles. Yeah, and... they're all very cute. Cute little witches. Black cat. So again, you can do it in five by seven, six by 10, or six by, um, eight by 12. That's that. Look at the spider's web behind you. Yes, so this is the spider's web table center. So that's beautiful too. It's got snakes and eyes, all the little spooky things. That can be made in um, different, three different sizes as well. We've got fabric bags. So this one's called the Monster Fabric Basket. We've got apples in that one. Monster Mouth Treat Basket, it's called. Yeah. So it can be made in the 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7 and 8x8. And it's so there. cool on every side. All the little a different monster things face. that you associate with monsters, <laughs> and then we've got um, just more of a generic type of fabric mm. baskets. We've got one, one's gone missing, and I think someone's taken yeah. all the lollies in it, the candy in it. And these it's hard to see because we've used this pattern fabric, but there's a beautiful spider web mm. quilting design on that. And these have got the little pumpkins on. The fabric baskets are so easy to make, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Awesome. I'll show you underneath. So that's something you could make and bring out every year. And then we've got over near you, Alison, this yep. design. I how to get it out without breaking it all. <laughs> it's our Halloween flag design. That's really, really good. I like that. Look at there's even like a little bug here on the E down yeah, the bottom. Yeah, the details. Um, Emma and Sylvana get into the design is so amazing. Little it's actually thing. the fun part of it because you just look at the overall and then see what you can find. Because yeah. there's spiders and spider webs. So there's a little spider here climbing up the A. Yeah. So you could make a long flag with this. You could keep it like this as a little Small. table topper type thing. Yep. It's another design. A little quilt. Then we've got our articulated yeah. skeleton. I had to laugh the other day. I think it was. Holly here in the in the sweet pea office 
taught um, what was it? the articulate skeleton. Yeah, the articulate. Very well spoken he's skeleton. Very, he's very articulate. Yes. But he's articulated and he's got the little rings there to make his body move. And we've done that in... You can do it in glow in the dark. We didn't because it wouldn't have shown up very well. Yeah, the glow in the dark is often lighter. It's lighter. But you can throw just bits and pieces that's in right. here and there. And then the boom, uh, boom hanger. hanger. That's been really, really popular. Yeah. Spiders and a bat and monster eyes. So we've got lots of bunting. You can decorate your whole um, house, basically. Yeah. I actually liked um, in the Facebook group the other day, Rita Wetzel, one of our admins, she's decorated her living room yeah, with all of our designs. She's got like a Christmas tree up with... Yeah. Um, some of our designs hanging yep. in it and she's got bunting looks fantastic so a beautiful ha um fall one as well with all the pumpkins oh and everything. yes that, that was, was really good too. yeah so. no that's that's about it for the oh and this one i wanted to show too so this is last year so it's not doesn't have to be halloween does it no this is um the witches and wizards wall hanger or table runner It'd be perfect if you were having a party a kids party or something that's and that right. was the theme yeah Again, the, the embroidery in that's just amazing. Mm. Sylvana did a great job with the digitising of that. And more different fabric. There's some suede and felt. Okay. Anyways. So there's lots more to see on the website. So just go, um, you can search um, under seasons and themes and Halloween is one of them. So if you yeah. click on that, you'll there's see. There's a search bar too. You can type Halloween in it. will bring up everything. But the word using Halloween. the menus, a yeah, great way right. to do it yeah. as well. Yep. Yeah. And the website is swpea.com. It's Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery. Hey everyone, um, it's Anna here from Sweet Pea and today I'm joined by our wonderful digitizer designer and... That's what you want? Yeah. Uh, designer. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> and Emma's here today with one of her latest designs. She designed this for Halloween. Now, a word of warning, this is not for small children, but it's... Well, Halloween's supposed to be spooky, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so we've right. done a, we've done a lot of kitty spooky. This is more kind of realistic spooky. Do you think? Oh hell yes! So Emma loves dragons and monsters, monsters and, and all things spooky. Yes, so all she, things spooky. She's scary. very 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 talented drawer, yes. artist. So should we go? But should we show the design, or should yes. we show your your drawings first? I think we should show the design. Yes, yes. go yes. for it. So, so we've called it. What have we called it, Emma? Oh, I've called it something very generic. Halloween monster <laughs> table runner yeah. is what I've called it. But with all of our designs, you could use the panels for other things. Oh, well, yes. You? you could just oh, take yes. one, put it on the back of a jacket. So yes. some of these images would be great on jackets. I reckon oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so prepare yourselves, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real um, a real step away from our normal sweet uh, pea pink and yes. pretty and flowery things, isn't it? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Yes, I had to turn it down. It was a, a bit too scary to begin with. So I'll sh show you later, but yes. So this so is a toned down. <laughs> toned down. Yeah. Just a warning. So yes, disclaimer. So if you're scared of spooky, scary things, look away now. <laughs> so we have five panels. So we have a werewolf, skeleton, pumpkin, dragon or demon. And lastly, vampire. So you digitise these so we can. They've got um, a mixture of applique and embroidery on yes. them, haven't they? Yes, I think that's our signature thing. Yeah, it is. So, um, so going through that first one, that's all. All the shading on his face is embroidery, isn't yeah, it? Like the eye, um, mouth, all the yeah. detail in the mouth. It's absolutely spectacular. Apart from the fact that it's spooky and scary, it's scary a bit out there. Yeah. And then the skeleton, I think, um, who made this one? Alyssa. Alyssa. Yeah. So she's, she's picked um, one of our kind of white... White PU. PU faux letters. Yeah. So and she's got that there. And the shiny one. Yeah. And again, that's got all the embroidery around it with all the shading and everything. So is that embroidery there? Is that cloth? Oh, that's, that's applique. Applique, so yeah. the mouth and the eyes yeah. and the nose are applique. Yeah. And then the, the pumpkin man, Pump, monster? Pumpkin, hen, pumpkin, <laughs> headless horseman. <laughs> He's very scary. Yeah. Scariest pumpkin I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> and then the dragon demon. Dragon demon. Yes, he was the last one I, I designed because yeah. I wasn't quite sure what to do. So again, I'll just use some of our faux leather there. Um, you don't need to use um, faux leathers. You can just use fabrics. 
Sometimes I think the leather gives it another dimension a bit, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Like in the shiny, the shiny Oh, that's our that shiny red one too. Yeah. yeah. And, then and she's, they've, she's used all of our um, sweet pea and critty threads in it. Yes. And our range doesn't even have metallics, does it? But they've got such a high sheen on them, oh, yeah. our um, credit threads, that you can actually, they kind of, they, they look like they're a metallic thread. Yeah. But oh, you get the added bonus that they don't break. That's true. <laughs> and um, this design will come with the um, Incredi thread colour chart. So so if you want to make it exactly like ours, we'll, you'll have the colours. Yeah. And then last of all is our vampire. Vampire. So he's toned down a lot too. Yes. <laughs> so I have to tell you, when Emma first had this drawn out, she yes. had it all out on the, her desk and I looked at it and I kind of mildly freaked yeah because it was scary yes and it is a very big departure of what we normally do but we'd like to cover for all tastes don't yeah. we oh yeah because not everyone likes juicy no designs. no so i mean we're certainly not going to have hundreds of these sort of designs but we're just, just a limited okay. couple so that you know people who are a fan of this sort of yeah. um work but it's absolutely incredible in all the detail you've put in it so this so is you want to show them the work yeah so this was the original vampire I'll put that up there so, and he, he had blood as well on his fangs and things. And he didn't, like, he was just as, like a um, bald head, like yeah, a skull. He was, <laughs> yeah. So he didn't have any hair, and I think, and he had the veins going up. And yeah. He, he was just a looked bit a more, bit more scary. Yeah, he looks a bit more angrier. Yeah. I sort of think this one looks a bit like Count Dracula now. Yes, with that's With the widow's true. peak, isn't yep. it? Yep, yep. More of a Count Dracula sort of a feel, or a bit of an Elvis happening, but <laughs> Count Dracula will go with. <laughs> But you know, we wanted you. I wanted you to see that the, all the work that our digitizers go into this. So Emma spent yes. days and days working on these designs. So, so that's the that. original drawings that I sort of sketched out first to see how it was going to how it was all going to go. So this one up here, um, that's the pumpkin. So yeah. you can see how rough it starts out, yeah. and then you just develop it. Yeah. And then I sort of get a bit carried away and excited and start <laughs> doing the the details. But it's just incredible. So yeah, they're not they're not just clip arts. They're like um, oh actually, no way. They're actually hand drawn. So. You yes. Yeah, so this definitely isn't come. This yeah. has come from the deep recesses of your imagination. Yeah, exactly, Emma, exactly. Which is a very scary place. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah. Emma does beautiful. She does some of our floral designs. Oh, like she's too. done. She did all of our um, Australian wildlife flowers. So. That's completely different when you look at this. Yeah. But it just goes to show the wide, you know, repertoire you have. <laughs> well, yeah, well, at home I like to draw dragons and monsters and things. That's my that's my kind of thing. This is how you relax, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so, so when you draw these at night time, do you go to bed and have nightmares? Do you not have nightmares no. about monsters? Oh, I think I suppose <laughs> I sort of put all my frustration into the drawing. Yeah. And I feel much better. I think that's, yeah. I think that's how... Yeah. Yeah. So this comes in, so we did this one in 6x10, yes. didn't we? But it comes in other sizes. 5x7 and 7x12. Yeah. So and again, when you buy this design, you get the files for all the different hoop sizes yeah. and you can use them individually. You don't have to put them in this order. If you don't like Mr. Pumpkin, you can leave him out yeah. or whatever. Um, you know, wouldn't he look good on the back of a, a jacket or something? Oh, yes. Yep, yep. We'll have all the local, local um, bikey clubs. <laughs> putting it on <laughs> Hell's Angels new <laughs> symbol. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. So this this has just been released this week in time for Halloween. But I mean, the, the, you could use these designs any time of the year, really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. So how long do you, would a panel take out long to embroider? Mm. It takes a while. There's a fair bit of embroidery, isn't oh, there? Oh, yeah, and it depends on the size you're doing. But yeah, I'd say it would, it would take a while to do. An hour, would it? Yeah, well, not that long. Uh, Maybe the, the more detailed ones, yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah. But you imagine sitting at your embroidery machine watching him, watching it taking shape. Especially the eyes coming to life. Yeah, it would be just yeah. incredible. Because that's I like to do the eyes the last because they they just sort of make. It, they do, don't they? They make it more realistic. Yeah, they're just not one color. The eyes, neither. Yeah. You've got different shades. So again. Um, with our design, if you want to do the same colours that we've used, we've included the, the colour chart for our Incredi threads. Yeah. You don't need to use Incredi threads, but you might want to try them with this because you'll get the same, exactly the same results. Yeah. But you can make your monsters any colour you like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So thank you, Emma, for joining us today oh, and showing you. us your latest design. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you.
Thanks for watching Sweet Peas Halloween Special. If you want to make any of these awesome designs this Halloween season, jump onto our website over at sweepea.com. That is S-W-P-E-A.com and search Halloween. Post in the comment section below what Sweet Pea design you are making this Halloween. That's all from us. We'll see you next week. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Thank you.